About 3,000 years ago, astrologers who used to work for the king of the Assyrian Empire observed the skies avidly. They discovered and recorded cuneiform tablets that can give us valuable insights into things such as solar flames and other cosmological occurrences that are just as relevant today as they were when first recorded. It is noted that approximately 2,700 years ago, astrologers observed something that caught their attention and they recorded the event on stone tablets. The astrologers wrote about an unusual red glow in the sky. A University of Tsukuba team found that there are at least three ancient cuneiform tablets that mention such an event, sometimes described as a red cloud or with text saying red covers the sky. According to Science Daily, those observations were compared against carbon-14 concentrations in tree rings from that same time period. And what they found is incredible. These were probably manifestations of what we call today stable auroral red arcs, consisting of light emitted by electrons and atmospheric oxygen atoms after being excited by intense magnetic fields. While we usually think of aurorae as confined to northern latitudes during periods of strong magnetic activity, as with a solar mass ejection, they may be observed much further south. Moreover, because of changes in the Earth's magnetic field over time, the Middle East was closer to the geomagnetic pole during this period in history. As a matter of fact, Assyrians may be able to assist modern-day scientists who are also studying the sun. Researchers explained in Astrophysical Letters Journal that solar events are a bigger threat now than they were thousands of years ago. These space weather events constitute a significant threat to modern civilization because of its increasing dependency on electronic infrastructure. Imagine an enormous solar flare such as the one described by the Assyrians could negatively impact cell phone towers and internet connections. We are aware of the fact that satellites and spacecraft are highly prone to such occurrences. How long could our modern and advanced world last without the telecommunications devices we all are highly dependent on? We can learn from the Assyrians and such knowledge may allow us to prepare for future solar events. From a historical point of view, it's interesting because these cuneiform tablets are believed to be the earliest records of these kinds of solar events, pushing information back on that phenomena by at least a century. So the ancient Assyrian astrologers who wrote the texts have provided another example of how learning about the past can help enhance the present and sometimes even predict the future. Ancient astrologers observed the effects of the sun on Earth. They also monitored comets, meteors, and planetary movements or other celestial events that might foretell good or bad omens for their societies. When reading these signs, the priests were primarily concerned with what was happening in the state as a whole and in the life of the king as the central figure of the state. They also believed that they could undertake rituals to appease the gods and mitigate any negative warnings revealed by the stars. It may sound stupid to indicate that astrology paved the way to scientific knowledge, but in many ways, that is exactly what was revealed with the work of the ancient Assyrian astrologers. Babylonian astronomers had developed an empirical approach to predicting planetary movement by the 8th century BC. Their studies were later adopted and developed by the ancient Greeks and included some good illustrations of ancient Babylonians using advanced mathematical methods. For example, they used calculus to track Jupiter, a key planet in their minds due to the link they created between Jupiter and their key god Marduk. Humans have been contemplating their place in the universe for centuries. Our deep interest in the stars led to the space programs which have taken us to places in our solar system which were once little more than a dream. Our ancient forefathers laid the path for such expeditions.